Okay, so I've covered the front and I've given it a sand around all those edges and I've cut out the excess of this um, the clock face, all that pattern paper over there and I'm just going to go around like I did on the back with a knife and slowly cut it back. Okay, so I've finished the front. I've given that a bit of a sand and an ink and it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to cover the sides with pattern paper and you could have guessed it, I have <laughs> made the, the um, strips larger than the, the width of that so that I can cut them back. Um, I'm going to start by gluing it at the top where that join is. And then I'm going to spread the glue out right to the edges and push the pattern paper into it. Now I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit before I continue on um, just so that it doesn't slide around and move on me at the top there. Okay, this top it is reasonably dry now, so I'm going to continue down with the rest. Just make sure you have the glue right out to the very edges. waiting for my sides to dry properly before I cut them I'm going to just cover these little pieces um, on the front and the side of the box um, they're optional you don't have to put them on but they're just a piece of chipboard um, covered in matching paper going to ink the box so that it matches everything else. If you haven't already noticed, I, oops, I ink everything. I like the look. Now just with these side pieces and the front piece, I've just put some brads in, but with a tip with your brads, after you've put them in, just turn it on the back and give it a little tap with a hammer. It's not enough to crush the front, but it'll it'll flatten them out really nice and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to glue them on a lot flatter. So just take some glue and put it around one of the pieces and place it on the front. And I'm just going to clamp that while it dries. Okay, so after cutting off the excess from the sides, all we need to do is ink it. And that is the basic construction and decoration finished. And then you just need to embellish it, which is great because there's not much to go once you start embellishing. To stick this down, I'm just going to use another one of these light card 
stock strips and I'm just going to put a heap of score tape on it. So it's just got the fold in the middle. I'm actually going to fold it back the other way. Sorry. So then just cut it to length from the inside here. A second one for the front. And then just angle your corners. And that will let it fit in that little gap a little bit better. Okay, so the fold is against the edge of the chipboard. And I'm just going to peel that back. I'm just going to run some glue so push the flaps so they're pointing out and then place it down Make sure it's in the center and wipe up the excess glue. The very last thing we're going to do is put the hands on the clock. Now depending on the brand of your clock um, it might go on differently but with my clock you put the hour hand on first then the minute hand and then you push the second hand on later. Now if you want numbers and things um, on your clock you need to make sure that you put them in the, the right order so uh, the right um, position so when you're pushing your, your numbers down make sure the the hour hand is on an hour and the um, minute hand is right at the top and there you have it, you are pretty much finished. Um, the mantle clock just needs some embellishing now.